information. 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 Who are you? The beast is back. You right, Nux? Who is number one? You hey, Nux. Got Nux? He says, I'm sniffing. Leave me alone. How are you doing, folks? Uh, I'm going to revisit an absolute classic album from 1982. The Number of the Beast! Woe to you, O Earth and Sea, for the devil sends the beast with wrath, because he knows the time is short. Let him who hath understanding reckon the number of the beast, for it is a human number. Its number is 666. Well, first signal was shallow. I thought it might have been something, but I don't think it is. That shape there, sort of like says, it's part of a lead carving or something, or soldier or something, but no, I don't think so. I think it's just a piece of, piece of pewter or something. I don't think it's lead. Oh well, but he's got something. A D, D, B. Dandy button. That's all right. Yeah, he's got a tom back. Uh, he's nearly a foot down. Nice one, mate. What about you, Derek? Yeah, it's alright. Let's just come to have a look. Haven't seen him for a while. I think you'll enjoy it out here today. It's not a bit of cloud cover. It's not going to be too hot for him, I don't think. So he should be alright. That's it. Go and settle down a minute, Nux. Another random piece of metal that was once something, but now is not. <laughs> Junk. Look at that for a view. Lovely morning there. Cloud covers just right, keeping us cool. Not a breath of wind. Perfect. Get on, pads! Find us the treasure, mate. There we are, coin ball here. What's inside? Ah, oh, there it is, look. It's a bullet. 1800s pistol bullet. That's not to find. Not bad. Good signal. Up in the 90s, that was. It's cool enough. Huh? Yeah. Not too bad at all, right? So we'll take it, Bombie Nux. Yeah. Well, got half a musket ball. That's strange, isn't it? I found a few of these before, actually. I wonder why it's snapped in half. Is it a ricochet off something or? Someone purposely cut it in half, I don't know. Scenery for you folks? Go on. This is as far as we've been down here. Look, there's, there's uh, ruins down the end there. Like that. Look at that. Looks he's got his paws that wet. And he's playing on the beach, lovely. So we're trying different areas today. We've never marched this, this far before on this property, so you know we're just going to try out the lesser sort of uh, places. May not find anything, of course, but why not try it? Don't know till you try. So that's our theory. Well, Pads has just found this on the beach. It's uh, Elizabeth Shilling. 1959, not old, but you don't get them that often. So it's a very young queen with a shield on the back. Yeah, 
I'm chilling. Well done, mate. Fancy a dip? No, thank you. I'm fine. Looks a bit muddy, doesn't it? Looks didn't mind it though. Got his feet wet at least. Looks has found a friend. What do you make of that then, Nux? He's a bit scared here, he he's not even moving. Keep rolling. Yeah. yeah. Looks the same. What's the matter with him? Has he got any arrows, arrow holes in him? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Paddy, you better put that back before you get an arrow through the neck. Oh, he's, he's alright, he's alright. <laughs> We've actually wandered into an archery uh, target area, so we might want to just uh, quickly make our way out of here. Now oh, I found an old spoon. It's a very old one, though. A couple hundred years old, easily. Copper spoon, sugar spoon, probably. Made of copper. It's all right, isn't it? Look, Paddy's being tight, look, but but effective. Look, he's using a, a little fines bag, which fits just perfect over his uh, Deus control box. Because we're going to be fighting the rain today, Pads, aren't we? It's looking a bit uh, a bit dubious out there. So <laughs> you know, you've got to take these precautions. Get on, Nux. Let's get digging, mate. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that's an old watch winder. Ooh. I think you're right. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. It's an oldie as well. Yeah. That's the top. That's the little pointy end, look. Yeah. yeah that's quite good, mate. Oh, well done. I would say uh, you're right there. Yeah. Rocks, doesn't it? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. Give me a looks. Come here, you mate. Well, I'm sorry to interrupt your bonding session, boys, but I've got a find here. Right. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's probably not that great, but. Uh, there you go. I don't know what this is. It's some. I found them on World War II sites before. I think it's like a like a belt support off a uniform, or possibly a, 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 a fastening off a coat, or maybe something off a tent. So it's pretty cool. It's probably World War II era, and uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. That's a decent find. Paddy's all covered in fluff now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you regret that giving him a cuddle, don't you? <laughs> well, summer's not here today. I can't see us getting through today without rain. Um, so we're making the most of this, we're getting on with it. But yeah, it's looking a bit cold and grey. Let's rock! So yeah, Number of the Beast, 1982, classic Iron Maiden album. The first to feature new vocalist Bruce Dickinson, who uh, replaced Paul Diano after the Killers album. So it's a brilliant album. It's got tons of classic material on it. The sound is fantastic, thanks to Martin Birch. Um, it's just a heavy rock classic album. You all know it, I know it. Check it out anyway if you don't, because it really is a groundbreaking heavy Rocking killer album. We made a reasonable start today. It's another little relic, nice little flat button. It's all right. Yeah. Better than we have been doing in recent weeks, but that's all right. Three finds already. Yay! 
I got a button, I got a button, whatever he says. So we rock up today and uh, there's a guy on the gate and he's like, you can't come in, there's an archery competition on a, in the woods and we're like, yeah, so we're, we'll be alright down in the fields, so we're, we're nowhere near it. He says, oh yeah, so I'd hate to stick an arrow in one of you, I mean we have to c c cancel the entire competition. Yeah, what are you going to do? Just roll us into a hedge and leave us for, for the uh, seagulls? I've just pulled out a big chunk of bomb shrapnel. Had a hell of a signal for some reason. Real high reading. Paddy's got a coin. With nothing on it. Mm. There's really nothing on that one, is there? It's a shame. I'll give it a little squirt of water, see if we can figure out what it could be. It's a half penny, obviously. Well, we've cleaned it up. We can't tell. It's got a little hole through the top, so it's been used as a as a necklace or something. But what a shame. Can't tell what it is. Is it a coin? Is it a half penny or is it a, some sort of medallion? Anyway, it's a decent little find pads. Shame we can't uh, tell. Second, enough. second find today. Yeah. Shame we couldn't find out what it was, but yeah. it's just too far gone, isn't it? Nothing on it. Oh. Well, the wind's picked right up now. It's blowing a gale. I've just found that. Not sure what it is. And I've just got that. A little uh, lead token of some description. Nothing on it. Quite big. Oh, this wind is breaking us. It's freezing out here now. Blowing a gale. Just found this little beauty. There it is. Found one of these before here. There's like a, a dragon or a lion holding a cross. It's a lovely button and it might actually have be silver underneath all this crud. But it's a cracking button, livery button, brilliant. Oh, it's freezing! Nix has found a stick, but Paddy's got a coin! Well, that's not what it is. Yeah. Don't know what that is. Well, it's, just, it's the size of a modern 2P, isn't it? But it's not a 2P. You wouldn't have thought so. No, a 2P wouldn't go. 2P just doesn't get the thing out on it. Two, no. two pence pieces don't. No. What earth is that? Oh, I'll try and clean it up and. Uh... Oh, look! It's a 2P. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Well, I've just found this awesome little piece. It's a little uh, bag seal. And it seems to have an emblem on it, if you look. Now, is that two like animals sat there, or is it some sort of castle? It's the same on both sides. There you go. But I'm really pleased with that. That's a little crackingly rocking little find. We're in a new field today, so um, hopefully good things to come. Yeah, decent. It rocks. And I got that one. A busted up old uh, gold gilt button. Alright. Alright, unleash the beast Paddy. Let's find a number of finds. Look at this morning we've got here, folks. Look at the mist. Well, Pads has just found something cool. Well, something we think is cool. Something lockety, I think. Look at that. There's a pattern to it. It's a hinge there, some sort of catch there. So it's gilted both sides. Quite nice pads. Any thoughts? Oh, look at me. 
Yeah. yeah. Certainly looks that sort of thing, doesn't it? Like a keepsake locker or something like that. Yeah. Good one, mate. I'll go find the locket now and go right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it'll be there, mate. You've only got to look for it. And I've just found something reasonable as well. Look at that. It's like a little brooch bow thing. It's quite good. I'm going to check the hole because there might be some more of it in there. It's a little, it's a little fitting or something there, which is movable a little bit. There we go. That's all right. All right. Oh, it's starting to rain. It's really murky today. Look at this. Yuck. Well, Pad's just saved the day there because I, I dug the hole, I couldn't find anything. He came along, smacked down the side and pulled out that one. Uh, a good old 1797 cartwheel penny. It's an average neck, you can just about catch the king. I haven't brought my little squirt bottle today, so we've only got the rain to sort of help us. But yeah, not a bad find though, Pad's, eh? There's, there is stuff here, but... Not a lot of it, I don't think. We've pretty much covered the field and found two, two or th well, three, three finds. So it's hard going, but at least we're getting something now. Hey, our pads is onto some in there. We'll get back there. Yay, it rocks! Oh, drained rat time here. Maybe wet, eh? but it's not really cold, is it? No, wet and warm. Just do your own again. <laughs> and we are slowly getting soaked. It's a shame because it's a great, great little place to dig, but the weather's spoiling it today. To be fair, though, we're due a bit of rain. We generally get dry days, so we should get on with it, won't we? Pads, where are you? I can't see you in the gloom. But, you've got a coin. Uh oh, I'm tangled up here. Oh, what have we got? Oh, hell. It's knackered. Yeah. That could be a good coin. It's quite thick. Now, I'll have to try and clean it and see what we come up with. Looks like it could be decent though, doesn't it? Yeah, I know. It's taken four hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these fields have been pretty poor, to be honest, but there you go. That's how, that's how it goes, isn't it? You yeah. know? Right, let's, let's try and clean this up. Well, Pads, I can confirm you have found the King George III half penny. Roughly 1790s. So that's what. Well, I've got wet fine. Yeah. <laughs> right at the end of play. Lovely. Better than nothing. Excellent. Then we're going to kick in the nuts. Alright. Quite. <laughs> this is the, the uh, roundup of what we found today. Look at that. That's the lot in, the, in what, three and a half hours? Mm. A bit slow. I think the, uh, the little bow thing wins out. But that's about it. Still, better luck next time. Can't win them all. Nope. Win them one. Win them. When it won't be good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies! <Man it> off. <laughs> <laughs>